got an email request last night from a gentleman who uh, asked about windshield wipers on the uh, older style GM vehicles. The uh, wiper arm on the passenger side of his vehicle has done the obvious. Uh, the, <laughs> the arm is obviously stripped inside and it has become rounded off and now all it does is not do anything. It just stays stationary. Well, this can be fixed by simply just replacing the wiper arm, but there is also the potential of damage to the wiper transmission. All right, so very easy. You have a tab right here. Okay, you can see this little little notch here. What you do is lift up on the wiper arm until it stops entirely. Then with your finger, reach underneath and just pull it until it's like that. Now once now you'll notice once you let go of the arm, it is now the spring-loaded mechanism is jammed. It's not going to allow the wiper to actually make contact with the windshield anymore. Once you have achieved this, just wiggle it, pop it off, just like that. If you take note inside here, you'll notice that there is actually a keyway. This here is actually, in fact, a safety mechanism, if you want to call it that. This ensures that this wiper arm will never fail. Here we have the inside look of the transmission. Okay, we can see where the uh, wiper arm actually connects to. There's also a notch here. This is where your keyway lines up. All right. If you take note on the passenger side, it does not have this notch. So here, we're looking at the wiper arm on the passenger side of our vehicle. Notice inside here, like I say, there's little grooves, right? You know, this is what uh, is supposed to be inside there. After time, they do wear out. And after a while, if you uh, have a tendency of letting your windshield freeze up and use the wipers at the same time, you're going to have a problem. Now, the wiper transmission is going to take a beating too if you keep running it with it, with this wiper arm stripped. So if you start noticing that the passenger wiper starts to act up, maybe you should stop before you do any further damage. But here's the driver's side. Like I say, there's that keyway. This is for safety. This is so that it never fails. Some kind of bright engineer at General Motors decided to, you know, make something like this so that, you know, something would fail and, you know, the mechanics at your GM dealer would have something to do. So if you have a problem with your windshield wipers, usually the arm is what will go first and they are usually roughly $10 to replace. The transmissions run anywhere from 60 to 70 dollars. Actually, they can even run upwards of well over 100. It depends on where you get it. So just be careful. If you start noticing something funky going on, it, nine times out of ten, it's going to be on the passenger side, never on the driver's side. You might want to cease and desist and stop it before it causes any further damage and repair it before it turns into a major repair expense. You don't need that, especially over something so silly as wipers. Like honestly, who wants to spend money on stuff like that? You know? Anyway, the Cutlass Supremes, or the G-body vehicles of the 80s, had a better design. They didn't have a circular notch like this. They had more of a oblong triangle shape. Never failed. Never failed. Never had to worry about it. But, like I say, the engineers at General Motors wanted you to pay and have a really weird exper repair expense. Anyway, that would be enough of that. Take care of yourself, guys. We'll catch you back here tomorrow evening. Take care.